Hey Dan, how's it going? My week has been going really well. Work is going well. Um, we are, I'm learning some more stuff about Jira and Salesforce and um, just figuring out ways to plan the work. Um, and so that is really exciting because I love learning new things. Um, as for at home, uh, one of my birthday presents came uh, because you know, with everything going on, shipping sometimes takes a little longer. So I wanted to show it to you because it's really cool. So Vanessa got me these dice. Um, they are all metal, uh, red and black. Um, the reason for this is I bought a Timbuktu bag when I graduated college with the school colors and the bag deteriorated completely, but the school colors were red and black. And so Vanessa got me these dice as kind of a replacement for that memory. And these are perfect. Um, all metal, the colors are exactly what I would want. And yeah, and they're just really pretty. I think my favorite are the D10s. I like how the metal in the middle is slightly thicker. Um, and they're just really pretty. So yeah, got those. Speaking of D&D, &D, uh, we went through Dragon Heist. Um, it was a really fun campaign. Uh, I think the next time I run, run it, I might have to do things a little differently. Uh, but it looks like we will be starting, um, the Mad Mage. I think it's the Dungeon of the Mad Mage or whatever that goes. So Dungeon, wow, I cannot speak today. Dr Dragon Heist goes level one to five and then Temple of the Mad Mage or Dungeon of the Mad Mage, it's been a long week, is levels five through 20. So I'm pretty excited about that. But it also means that I can start pulling maps from that campaign into a dungeon draft and start creating pretty large maps in there. And I'm pretty excited to start that process. Um, but yeah, it was a really fun campaign. Everybody got to level five and they got a reward of 50,000 gold. Um, and yeah, so they went on a shopping spree, as you can imagine. So related to the pandemic, everything here in Texas is still locked down. We live in a populated enough area that cases are just rising. I think looking online, that's updated daily. It was like 500 and something new cases. Um, so we're still locked down. Um, still working remote. Um, it's looking like we will be working remote for a while. Not sure when we will be going back to an office space. Um, yeah, so just trying to figure out if we need to change anything um, about r remote work. It'd be nice to have an office, but we don't really have a good place for an office. So right now I'm just hopping desks, um, depending on where the children are, whether one's taking a nap or not. Um, and it's working. Um, it's just, it's a lot working from home. Um, Oh, also got one other cool thing. We got a weed whacker or wire, or what is it? Wire strimmer? I always called them weed eaters growing up, but my favorite term, which we learned by watching an Australian video, some people call it a whippersnipper. So we bought an electric whippersnipper, and I have to say it is about a hundred times improvement over the whippersnipper that you have that's gas powered um there's way less vibration when i used yours at your house it vibrated so much that i could do like one fence and that was about it whereas this one being electric um i was able to use it for an entire hour and it was fine um so i'm and it was also a lot quieter i didn't even need to put on like hearing protection uh which i really liked so yeah that's my week. Um, I'm still reading that book series. I'm really enjoying it. I think you would really like it if you ever get a chance to. Um, and yeah, I think that's going to be it for this week. I hope you are doing well, and I will see you on Saturday.